Okay, what's going on, you guys? It's uh, Net Net Flanders Nightmare again. Uh, past chips. Um, I'm trying. Uh, I am recording this out of my phone on a little um, earbud microphone headset. If it, if you don't like the sound, we can work with it. I just want to cut out the traffic because I think it's better to be outside. Actually, um, today uh, today shout out to Richardson Remedies for giving me this stuff called Fuel, which is a nice even blend. A little more sativa dominant, but it's good. So. The new YouTube page is officially up and running under the same pseudonym, Nightmare Flanders, which I will admit is just a, a, a scary ganja, nidhog, you know, American Satan dragon name. You know, it, it's supposed to help me catch on. You know, it's like a chocolate ring guy or a nostalgia critic, actually. You can call me Stephen Kenny anytime you want. But yeah, it's mostly just to help catch on, actually. So I compiled a small syllabus today for something that we are going to talk about in the most sparse detail that we can i mean well the most minced detail don't have to go back for like old language and stuff like that i'm just going to give it to you straight okay uh today we're going to do a brief lecture on uh nephilim actually the nephilim are the humans from the bible the giants that were allegedly crossed in between fallen angels like the watchers and mortal human beings actually so um Ba you, you guys basically know that. I mean, the trolls in Norse are basically from Jotunheimer are basically the same thing as the giants, actually. The first hint that I got from uh, one nefarious type of monkey, I tell people all the time, I like the Peter Jackson Kong better, and this is why. Because the first one was made literally within a decade after they first discovered gorillas, actually, which were not discovered until 1928. I mean, you know, I'm sure... I mean, that was the, like some people's. There is a rumor out there that Gojira is actually, you know, what the Norse called the Nidhogg, but you have to question, you know, about gorillas being named in the 1920s because where would they've gotten a Japanese name for gorilla? It's up in the air. I don't know. I'll confirm it when I hear it from the guys, but, you know, they technically weren't discovered until the 1920s. I mean, God tells you what animals to eat all the time, actually. You know, like if it's from the water, you can eat it if it has gills, actually. But we'll bounce about that in a little bit. I'm just throwing it out there because I just want to see what people have to say about it. But anyway. Past chips. The first time I ever found anything monkey related that was weird was with a very spooky book that I read from Caribou Middle School Library when I was in about sixth or seventh grade, actually. It was by Sir Arthur Cannon Doyle, and I believe was written in 1862, actually, which was the original Lost World, actually. For 200 grueling pages, I did not see one dinosaur, actually. It was basically supposed to be like the dream sequence from Jurassic Park 3, where the raptor was talking to Alan Graham, except in this one, it wasn't talking. It was an orange... It's been a while since I've read it. I got a buddy who has that book, actually. Uh, it was basically orange with yellow cat slit eyes and a black basilisk lizard frilled hood with black stripes, like the Jurassic Park 2 raptors from that lost world, actually. And basically, these guys were on a boat burning like oil, like you burn in oil drums, actually. What was actually happening is that they were running from a giant tribe of fire-eyed, meat-eating monkeys, actually, that were supposed to be in a hedge maze of a satanic cult, actually. <sighs> Hence, the devil has a lab again. So why don't I just kind of pander to you a little bit? You remember what I said in the first video? how you MonsterVerse fans were at least nice enough to acknowledge that Godzilla and Leviathan might be different. Well, in the novel version of Godzilla vs. Kong, um, that's not the, 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 the biped Kong is just, a, it, it is just a, a suit that is supposed to be worn by reptilian humans, which I affectionately call monkey dragons, since they call me the shepherd of the wolf iguana. Yes, but in reality, the Kong that I vouch for is the quadruped one from the Peter Jackson movie in Skull Island. Um, nefariously, just saying, there is a white albino monkey in the Rampage movie, which is also a legendary movie with Dwayne The Rock Johnson, that had basically an altar to Sebek and Fenrir from Norse, that also had a white monkey that ate people. In the novel version of Godzilla vs. Kong from 2019, excuse me, 2021, I think, the MonsterVerse, they said that Godzilla hunted Kong's species because they killed for pleasure. But you don't want to be anti-Kong. Because, you know, I'm basically a xenomorph talking to human woke youches. Okay? But, just saying, there is a Scar King. There, there, there is a guy out there who's trying to control a Leviathan whip, which is basically like, you know, trying to make, I don't know, a Kiryu DNA computer, if that makes sense. Trying to use, like, pineal juice inside of a Nidhogg spine to basically make a faster algorithm online. Because 
let's just talk. You're not uh, predators in cloaked sheaths of light. It's basically an avatar suit that you can charge magnetically like a phone battery. <laughs> they give you this technology late because now you have more places to distribute it because a lot of these things are made independently because you're accepting things like internet jobs and monetization on YouTube or independent stuff like my pillow. It's supposed to be like a pillow that keeps you cool at night. But anyway, that's basically what it is. So more to the point, yeah, you can use it as a suit if you want to, but just think about that for a second. A Satan worshiping monkey. They are smart enough to hack your chips, actually. I'm not gonna do, go into too much of it, but it's a crime would come from called third eye piracy. It's like capital punishment, like on site, actually. But anyway, uh, that's what they said in the novelization of Godzilla vs. Kong, is that they kill for pleasure, but you can't be anti-Kong. You can't. So we'll go to something else that was a Toho-owned property called Attack on Titan, actually. Which looks to me like a cry for help. There are a few monsters that we're going to talk about, but the first ones are Nephilim. Uh, because that is a fake son of man, actually. Because I saw that in Tarzan 2 with George Carlin playing a white ape, who was also a Catholic. Because I forgot to mention him last time. He does joke about it, but he does have knowledge from Catholicism, actually. Yes, he does, actually. Son of man is a man, not a chimp. Some people suggest that humans are actually evolved baboons, actually, because black people have a bridge on their nose, too, actually. This is a woke chimpanzee. It, it is. That has a tail. It's most likely definitely made, actually. They say that they're out of date because Dagons are coming into the thing, the whole Plutonian thing, the, the reptilian alien as opposed to the reptilian human. But anyway... Um, Attack on Titan does kind of bear a resemblance to another skeletal creature from Japan. There is a demon in Japan called the Nuriona, actually, which is a lizard-tongued creature with a hair and a face like a human, which I hear is the origin of why the Nidhogg chased uh, the eagle, is because of her baby, actually, which was actually supposed to be Jesus, because they say that the Nuriona was a dude, and that was the first human that he ever imprinted on, actually. He was just kind of skeptical of humans like Shere Khan, but they haven't done anything yet. And they and, and yes, the Orichis do taunt you with that, actually. Yes, they do, actually. But anyway, have you ever seen the Russian sleeper experiment video? Just show of hands. Have you ever seen the Russian sleeper experiment video? The creature in the video has nothing to do with the story. It's like these weird things that they do in like Germany. Like you'll have a movie like Frankenstein versus Baragon, right? And they might call it Godzilla versus the Wolfman. Why? I, I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But uh, pretty much it does look like that skull demon from Norse, actually. You know, these cold skin giants from Norse, from their uh, Jotunheimer, actually. Um, another thing that that reminds me of is something that I read in eighth grade, actually. My brother Sam... Oh! Sorry, my uh, alarm is going off. I woke up a bit early today. Oh, for God's sake. Hang on, I'll be right back.